Many gathered this morning at the Holter Museum for the dedication celebration for the John and Jean Bacchus Family Gallery. The idea to name the gallery after the Bacchus family came after a unanimous vote by the board of the museum. The board of directors um, chose to name the High Gallery after the John and Jean Bacchus family due to their importance to our community and to our state. They were obvious leaders, historians, and philanthropists. And Jean was involved with the Holter Museum since its beginning. Members of the Bacchus family, as well as community members, shared fond memories of Jean Bacchus, who helped lead the Holter Museum to success. One of the founders of the museum, Dick Duffy, says she was always wanting to help in some way. On several occasions, invited me to her home to ask how the Holter was doing. And then she'd never say what she was going to do, but she wanted to know what was going on here. At the ceremony, a shadow box was unveiled by custom furniture designer Al Swanson. The box contains belongings of Jean, including a pair of her glasses. Senator Max Baucus says the shadow box, as well as the entire event, means a lot to his family. Well, it's a perfect way to honor uh, our family, especially my mother, who was always very positive, always believed in holding the family together, settled all the disputes, always believed in the community of Helena. John Bacchus III, a great-grandchild of John and Jean Bacchus, says he enjoyed everything about the event. I thought it was really nice. I thought it was really nice that they dedicated the gallery to my great-grandpa and great-grandma and Walking into the Holter, the John and Jean Bacchus Gallery is a center point of the museum and currently displays the Poindexter Collection. Zach Smith, Beartooth, NBC.